Hi guys, it's Carly Turner here from Celebrations by Carly. I am so excited to be joining with Party City to bring you this paper crate fringe backdrop workshop. Um, all you're going to need for this workshop is paper crate, string, and a hot glue gun. So I bought these paper crate rolls. I have five different colors here from Party City. They were 99 cents each and I got some different colors. I put up, and the, you can use any kind of string for this. I use 20 pound high impact fishing line. This is what I use in all my balloon garlands, so I had it on hand. But any kind of string that you can find around your house will do. I also like that it's clear so that as we hang it up, it'll look better with the decorations. So I already went ahead and hung up this string behind me. It's clear so you can't see it, but there's a string right here, a fishing line. It's held up by the sides with scotch tape. And then there's about two feet of fishing line on both sides below it. And um, I use the scotch tape because it's easy on the paint on my wall. And this is the easiest way I found to set up a fringe backdrop is to actually hang it up as you're making it. So I'm going to just start with one of my colors. And I'm just going to pick the length that I want it to be. So we'll start hanging it up so you can see. Here's my fishing line and I'm just going to drape it behind. and hang it over. So I, I like to make my length a little bit random. So I'm going to, I want it to start low, go high, up and down, and kind of zigzag, kind of make it look organic. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clump my colors together and group them in streams of either two or three. I'll start out with two purples right here. Now you're gonna take your, your glue gun and just go to the top, right where the string hits, put a little dot of glue and then fold it over. It is that easy. We've got our first streamer glue to get together. Here's the second one. Okay, I just press it and they'll stay on the line. They won't go back and forth because they're glued directly to your string right there. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit longer with the orange and do three pieces instead of two. Let me get it behind. one longer. They're a little bit staticky, so it can be a tiny bit tricky. And then I'll do my third one about the same length as the middle one. Another good thing about the paper crate is if I have made some of them too long or not exactly how I want it, I could go back and cut them after. So I've got my three orange up and then I'm just going to take my glue gun and do a little dollop. I mean, I'm just using a tiny bit, maybe like a pea-sized amount of hot glue. And then I don't overlap them, but I do put them right next to each other. Just like that. And I actually do want this end to go up a little bit higher. I'm just going to cut that right there. And it's kind of creating a little V right here. All right, so now let's do the rainbow color. I'm going to do See, probably two really long pieces of this rainbow. So I am going to do this rainbow one a little bit different because as you can see the inside 
is not as brightly colored as the outside and it will look like you're looking at the back side of it. So I'm gonna glue these two pieces together once I get to the book, once I get them, <clears throat> once I get it up. Oh, I love that rainbow, that's so cute. Party City also had the cutest cactus design that I was just dying to use. So hopefully I'll have some sort of event that I can use their crepe paper with the cactus print. It's so cute. Okay, so since I don't want any of the back to show from these rainbow ones, I'm actually gonna glue them, do little dollops all the way down so that they don't spread apart like that. So I'll start by gluing, oops. I'll start by gluing at the top. And I always set my glue gun to low temperature. I will always burn myself. Okay, now I'm gonna go down probably in the middle and do a little dollop. Just really small. It does not take much glue at all to keep paper crate together because it's so thin. And then I'll do one at the bottom. So as you can see, it will hold it together and we won't ever see the back side. So I'll go and do the other one. Halfway down. This would be super fun to go behind the words happy birthday, to put balloons on top, to add balloons in addition. Um, I just feel like they add so much fun to any event. So I don't like how those three are all the same length. It's kind of bugging me. So I'm gonna cut this one a little bit shorter. Let's see this middle one a little bit shorter. Now it's a little bit more uneven. And then I think I'm gonna end on this side with, a, with two strands of orange. Alright guys, there it is. And obviously you can make it as long as you want, but you get the basic idea. It's super easy. It adds so much to every design, every project, every party. Alright, now that our fringe backdrop is complete, I'm going to show you how to make a banner out of balloons. So I have a 
a double blowing balloon pump. You can use a single blowing balloon pump. You can use a hand pump. Any way that you need to, to blow up your balloons is fine. And you're gonna blow up two balloons and tie them together with one knot. I'll show you. So once you have your balloons blown up, you cross over, put your elbows down, and tie a knot. And we're gonna make a few of these. glue gun to glue them together. So I put a little dollop on one end. And then I just stick together the next balloon. And again, we'll do a dollop right here. And then stick together. And you can repeat this as many times as you want to make your balloons as long as you want. They go awesome with this fringe backdrop. 